All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we're gonna be talking about everything that was added to the game through the latest global data download, which happened about, uh, I wanna say like six or seven hours ago. So first things first, we're on DBZ Space, and as you can see, the new Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan has officially been scheduled, and uh, here is his SSR form. There's the TUR, and finally we have the LR. Now to be honest, I do think the TUR art might be a little bit better. I might have preferred that this was the LR instead, but that usually ends up being the case for new units, so I'm not really surprised to be honest. And uh, one interesting thing is that he is coming out really early compared to the normal release time, right? Like typically these days, um, a new unit, a new banner will drop around like 1 a.m. for me, 1 to 2 a.m. But this guy is coming out in like 9 hours from now, man. At 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So super, super early release. I mean, I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that, you know, JP is getting the banner at the same time, right? Or it should be around the same time at least. Either way, it's because it's a simultaneous release, so that's why the time is really weird. But yeah, super, super early. I can actually go to sleep earlier today, you know, compared to like a normal release. And of course, we will be live for the summons as soon as the banner drops. I'll probably go live about half an hour to an hour in advance just to do some grinding and hang out with you guys until the banner comes out. And then once the banner drops, of course, we'll be doing, you know, at least like 500 stones or so, maybe even a little bit more. We'll see how I feel, but make sure you guys tune in for that. Okay, so there's the Gohan. There's also a new uh, special Christmas themed Kai, the uh, Kid Gohan, or Santa, Kid Gohan, and Icarus. And uh, it's really nice, really cute, you know, there you go. I'm probably not going to be using him as a Kai though, because I always keep these like special types of Kais or characters as um, souvenirs, right? So I would recommend most people to at least keep one copy just for collection purposes, right? So that's the new Kai. And uh, yeah, guys, Gohan coming out in soon. He's coming out soon. No, I just thought like, what if you're watching this right before the banner drops, right? So very, very soon, guys. Okay, now let's pop over to uh, Twitter. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG, as always, for posting the assets from the latest data download. And uh, it did reveal to us some new events and other things that were also going to be coming for the Christmas campaign on Global. So let's just pop down to the bottom here. And uh, I know you guys saw something that was probably pretty exciting. We'll get to it in a second. But starting from the very bottom here, there were some uh, updated assets for Jiren and Super Saiyan for Gohan. Not really sure what the changes were. He says there are no visible changes to the models of the three variations of Jiren and Super Saiyan for Gohan. So. Yeah, they updated the sprites, like the in-game, in-fight sprites for Jiren as well as Super Saiyan um, for Gohan. But for some reason, there don't seem to be any changes, so not really sure what that's about, but apparently that was a thing. And uh, there were also some minor fixes for a few other units, like this Bojack right here. This is the World Tournament Bojack. This is the SSR um, Bojack that becomes LR Bojack. And uh, there's also some fixes to the giant ape uh, Bardock, the free-to-play one, I believe. Wait, is this the free-to-play one? It's either the free-to-play one or the tech one. I'm not sure, but this this Bardock was updated as well. Also, a few minor changes to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the tech one, not the new int one. And then we have the translated assets for uh, STR Rebrian, Int Rosie, as well as AGL Kakunza's Extreme Z. Awakening medals as well as their Extreme Z area event. There are the medals for uh, Rebrian, those are the Rosie medals, and finally we have the Kakunza medal. So that Extreme Z area should be dropping tonight, but a couple hours after the um, Gohan banner drops. Because, like I said, the banner for Gohan drops at 9 p.m., but I'm pretty sure all the events that are coming, or at least most of the events, will be coming out at the normal time, so roughly uh, like four or five hours after the Gohan banner comes out. And then we have, finally, finally, the translated medals and assets for Fizz Berserk Kale and AGL Khalifla's Extreme Z Awakenings, 
Okay, so these are dropping as well. And they're coming out, uh, like I said, a couple hours after the Gohan banner comes out. So Global will finally have the EZA for the Saiyan girls. Um, it was a long time coming. I, I, I didn't know if it was ever going to happen, honestly. But uh, I'm glad it's finally here, man. Even though we're not going to be getting the Dispo and the Topo EZAs until whenever Jiren comes out. Like, we don't know at this point, right? Because our timeline on Global is just all messed up with this simultaneous release. Not complaining. Once again, I'm just saying, like, it's a little bit weird. It's a very interesting decision by, by Bandai. It doesn't really bring us any closer in terms of, like, releases it just kind of messes things up for global right but it's okay i have a feeling they'll probably just continue the top theme after this celebration and give us jiren after and then give us uh you know angel golden frieza um i guess that's it and then after that probably super saiyan 4 gogeta so i'm guessing we'll go back to back on track after this celebration but we'll see we'll see anyways saiyan girls finally happening guys and then we have the, um, you know, the little logo for the Extreme Z battle for the Saiyan girls. We got two new Dragon Stones. The Red Dragon Stone is going to be free. We'll probably get it upon first login for the celebration. And then we have the Blue Dragon Stone, which is going to be uh, most likely pur purchasable through a pack in the Pilaf's Trove. And uh, yeah, there you go. And we also have a brand new wallpaper, guys. A new Vegeta's Family Christmas wallpaper just like the Goku family one from last year and I gotta say it's freaking adorable this is a freaking adorable wallpaper I love it I actually like it a lot more than the Goku family one if I'm being completely honest so uh, this will probably be my wallpaper for a couple weeks this month I like it a lot honestly so new wallpaper probably gonna be free as well uh, just through login there's the Christmas Icarus and Gohan um, the new Kai and also some assets, of course, for the new LR Gohan. So, SSR, TUR, and finally, we got the LR right there, right? And that's it, guys. So, quick breakdown. Uh, once again, big shout out to Proton 10 mg He says, we got the Tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Youth Gohan, Christmas Icarus Gohan, Christmas Wallpaper, new Trade Jewels or the new Dragon Stones, um, easy assets for... Universe Survival Saga, Peppy Gals, um, Extreme Z Area, as well as the Extreme Z Battle for Kale and Khalifla. And then we have multiple minor fixed assets for existing units. And I'm not really sure what that, that's about, but um, apparently it happened, right? For the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Bardock and the um, Bojacks. So that is uh, all the assets from this data download. And finally, before we go, since it's been such a long time, I'm going to quickly remind you guys what the Kale and Khalifla actually do, as well as two other new EZAs that aren't coming to Global yet, but I just want to make sure everybody's aware of, so we'll talk about those two. So starting with Kale, or sorry, Khalifla, starting with Khalifla, her leader skill is going to be all types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%, super attack, causes supreme damage, and raises defense by 60% for 3 turns. Passive is going to be attack plus 120%, defense plus 60%, and high chance of evading enemies' attack including super attack, and medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. Attacks effective against all types when there's an ally whose name includes Kale attacking in the same turn. And her max stats with the EZA will be 18,309 HP, 15,510 attack, and 11,200 and 82 defense. So that's the EZA Khalifla. And then for Kale, her leader skill will be Fizz Types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%, super attack, immense damage, greatly lowers defense, and passive is going to be attack plus 160%, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, reduces damage received by 60% for 6 turns from start of turn, reduces damage received by 60% with 6 or more Fizz Key Spheres, obtained starting from the 7th turn from start of battle, and her max stat will be 18,362 HP, 16,757 attack, and 9,298 defense. Alright, so lastly, we got two new Hero Extermination, Extreme Z Awakenings, um, that are going to be added to the Hero Extermination Extreme Z Area event. You got the Int Gohan, 
as well as the AGL Kaioken Goku. Now these guys are coming to JP first and uh, at some point in the future to Global, but once again, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of what they do. Okay, so for Gohan, his new, his new leader skill will be all types skill plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, and then super attack is going to be raises defense for one turn, positive supreme damage, and passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%, medium chance of performing a critical hit, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for the rest of battle after performing three super attacks. So he gets this full boost right here after he performs three or more supers. And his new stats will be 14,665 HP, 14,761 attack, and 10,680 defense. And finally, for the Kaioken Goku, Leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack greatly raises attack, causes uh, raises defense, and causes supreme damage to enemy. If you guys are wondering what the sound is, I think somebody's like moving beer bottles in the background or something like that. Uh, yeah, greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes supreme damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack with 3 or, or more AGL key spheres obtained and performs a critical hit with five or more AGL key spheres obtained. And finally, his stats will be 15,292 HP, 16,000 attack, and 10,849 defense at rainbow status with his Extreme Z Awakening. So uh, there you go, guys. Two new EZAs for JP, two new EZAs for Global, and uh, that is the data download for today i'll see you guys at 9 p.m actually a little bit before right like 8 8 30 p.m eastern standard time tonight for the gohan summon stream and uh that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always and if you uh, liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out